The Columbia River Gorge is one of the Pacific Northwest's most spectacular regions. Just a short drive from Portland, the gorge offers a confluence of sweeping views, dense forests, and beautiful waterfalls. Our goal? To see as many of them as we could in a single day. Back in March, before the pandemic set in here in Oregon, fellow reporter, podcast co-host, and waterfall aficionado, Jamie Hale and I headed out to the gorge. And while there are close to 50 notable waterfalls in the gorge, we set our sights east from the scenic Vista House and aimed to see as many as we could fit in before dark. Uh, you can kind of imagine the lava coming off of Mount Hood and creating this slope. And when the river is carving it out, you can kind of, it kind of makes sense why you have these bigger waterfalls on that mountainside yeah. and sort of those lower lying slopes on the Washington side. So you're looking at every few hundred years, you're getting another catastrophic flood coming in. But for us now, I mean, that's why we have these beautiful waterfalls yeah. in the gorge. Yeah. And that's why the Willamette Valley has such rich soil. It's hardly sunrise and I've learned like a bunch of things today already. <laughs> so I think it's, I think we're good. There's plenty more facts for the rest of the day, Jim. <laughs> I think it's about time we get rolling then. Let's do it. For an extra twist, I decided to bike between stops, while Jamie and our camera woman, Brooke, took the car. It's gonna like maybe be like 15-ish minutes to La Terrell, our first, first waterfall of the day. All right, Jamie. All right, I'm gonna go get in this nice warm car. Uh, <laughs> see you at La Terrell. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> From Vista House, we headed to our first waterfall, which was a quick two and a half mile ride away and didn't require any hiking. Laterelle Falls. The first one you come to, coming in the gorge from Portland along the historic highway. And it's a nice waterfall and it's really easy to hike to. So I give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I, I got no, I'm, I think I'm gonna have any complaints about any no. of the waterfalls, but I got no complaints about this. One. Zero so. qualms. The goal is you have to see every waterfall. True. So okay. We have seen La Terrell. I'm gonna snap my helmet back up <laughs> and put my backpack on and keep moving because I am freaking cold. Man. I feel a little bad for Jim biking off into the cold. I have to say, I'm really excited to get back in the warm car, the seat warmers, the hot air blasting. Poor Jim. He's having fun though, he's doing what he loves. <laughs> the first waterfall was gorgeous, but I was quite cold. So we quickly headed out to our next destination and ran into a waterfall we forgot about along the way. It looks like there's normally a path to get down there. A nice sort of uh, that old gorge style uh, stone railing and yeah, pathway down to the base cool. of the falls. Honestly, really enjoyable waterfall from up here as well. See it, Bridalville. I hopped back on my bike and met up with Jamie and Brooke for a short hike to our next waterfall, Bridalville Falls. I love these bridges across the creeks in here. Yeah. So nice. You can see, so if you look only at the little keyhole right here, you can just see the mist yeah. shooting out. You can see the falls just right Oh yeah, there, there we are. Huh. Bridalville Falls. Named such, uh, presumably, because it looks like a bride's veil. I can see it. I can see it. All right, man, see you in a bit. For the next leg of our trip, we'd do our longest hike of the day, about five miles via the scenic Multnomah Wakino, and try to see six more waterfalls along the way. Joaquina, number four, mm -hmm. on our waterfall track. That's right. We've hit three already. Three. No, we've hit four. four. Joaquina. So five will be ferry. Five, six, six seven, eight. seven, eight. Yeah. Nine. Wow. One will be nine. Nice.
We've made it to waterfall number five, Fairy Falls. A gorgeous one. I don't know that I've actually ever seen it before. Pretty excited to be here. This is number six. Number six. Six is pretty good. Yeah. Six before before one. We powered through the rest of our trek, seeing more waterfalls and stopping for lunch before looping back around to the grandest display of our trip. Multnomah Falls is the tallest waterfall and most popular natural destination in the state dropping hundreds of feet and crossing under the iconic Benson Bridge. Number nine. Number nine. What do you say, Jamie? Well, Nova Falls. Went up to the top. I haven't done that in a while. Now it's fun up there, different yeah, perspective. Appreciated that, yeah. appreciated that. Now we're getting a classic view down where most people come when they visit Nova Falls here at the base. Looking up at this 620 foot view. And beauty it is. From the parking lot, we made haste for Horsetail Falls. There it is. I like the ones that you can just reach off the road real nice. Yeah. Just right here. Then we continued on to another short hike, where two more waterfalls would await us. 11 and 12. All right, 11 it is. 11, count. Next up was a Jamie Hale special, a secluded waterfall that was just a short walk off the paved historic Columbia River Highway State Trail. It's a really cool time of day to come to. It's really kind of a fun little, little spot. 13. We are at Ruffle Creek Falls, which is through a field and a little tiny trail with no signs. Jamie knew where it was and a uh, nice little grotto here with cool waterfall. 13. With only a couple hours of daylight left, I booked it to the next set of waterfalls. But of course, I chose to stop for a frozen treat along the way. A classic move on my part. Well, you got milkshake on the mind? You pedal like mad. Look at Jim. That's a very good choice. Classic chocolate. This is going to be different, difficult though while biking. Enjoy your shake oh. on the on the uh, bike. I'm... I spilled the milkshake. <laughs> I got some of it. I feel so bad. It's one of those situations where it's so bad that you can't help but laugh. Oh, I feel bad for poor Jim spilling that milkshake. Oh no, it's all over the road now, isn't it? He was so happy to have it. Did I miss my turn off? Milkshake debacle behind us, we set off for a few more waterfalls past Cascade Locks. So 14, if we're not including the two waterfalls I saw way off the bike trail. Jamie says no. So this is 14. 14. Yes. 14. Hole in the wall falls? Yes. Hole yeah, in the wall see, falls. It comes out of literally a hole in the wall. Hence the name. We got creative with this one. I'll be there in just a smidge. Oh. 15. 15. As the sun set, we reached our final stop, Starvation Creek Falls. 16. We did it, Jim. We did it, man. Ooh.
Then it was back to the car, out to dinner, and home to Portland. With 16 waterfalls, roughly 10 miles of hiking, and over 30 miles of biking in the books. <laughs>